so hey guys what's up and in this video i'm going to see about another lead code problem that is hand offsets right so let's get started and this is what the problem basically says that allies has a hand of cards that is given as an array of integers right so basically this is an integer and we need to find a group that is of size 3 that is equivalent to the group size mentioned as in the question here that is the parameter here right so we need to find that whether it is actually possible to make this number of groups right of this size that is group size and all the elements in the group will be consecutive we need to just return whether it is possible in this array or not right well after seeing the question like this what comes first to a mind is suppose i found a number so before that let's examine this example here right we have a series of array that is this right we want to you know like return whether it is possible to have a group which is size equal to group size and all the numbers inside it are consecutive right so as you can see here we can usually make into three groups right this is one two three and two three four and six three seven and each group has a size that is equal to group size that is equal to three and all of the numbers inside this group are consecutive as one two three then two three four then six seven eight right so the first thing that comes into mind sorting right why because we will get something information about the consecutive elements right suppose i have an element here let's examine this array only like this right so if i have this array so if i sort it right what i'll get that is one then we have two twos then we have threes then we have four and then we have five we don't have five i think so we have six then we have seven and then we have eight right that's pretty much it we have four um four and nine we have also nine here right so these are the elements when you sort it now how, why i'm talking about sorting is that it gives us a, an idea about like whether the elements number of elements that are consecutive to it right we get an insight of this with this right so how can we approach these type of questions right so basically what you can do is suppose there exists an element one right suppose there exists an element one and we need to find what are the number of like whether it is possible in order to get a group size right that is equivalent to group size right and having all the elements consecutive right so every element should be categorized into one of the groups right so if i'm considering suppose one right so what will be its consecutive elements it can be one it can be two it can be three as we have here a group size of three so if the starting element is one we can have say we have three elements to go right because now the group size is three as i mentioned here right and we have to go for three elements only if the first element is one what will be the next two elements it will be two and then it will be three right so how this varies right if i am suppose having an element that is x that is the starting element right the next element will be x plus one and x plus two and if I write in a, it in a loop, right, how will this work? Basically, if I'll write it in a loop, then suppose the group size is, say, y, right? Suppose group size is y, let me write like this. Suppose the group size is y, right? Then how will I, you know, like, check for the consecutive element that it exists or not? What are the consecutive element it will have, right? So it will be basically from x, it will initially have an element that is x, right? then it will have an element that is x plus 1 then x plus 2 up to what up to x plus y minus 1 right so it will be having x plus 1 then it will have x plus 2 and it will go up to x plus y minus 1 so this is what we do right but how to check whether it is possible or not right for this case we can use a value of map right what map will do is that we can use an ordered map because we want the element to be sorted right we want to check for one that if one exists then what are the number of groups that we can make having one as an element all right similarly we'll be checking for other things right so now it's the concept of map now why and how the map would be used so basically if i think of this approach right if i take one i'll have the frequency of one suppose i have one once in the total array if i have only one then i would expect that the consecutive elements that we would have like two and three should have at least one right 
if it would ha don't have the if the consecutive elements for the element i'm considering right in this case it is one right if the consecutive elements of it that is two and three will have a frequency less than this element right then we'll return false that's a simple idea now let's code it and see how it works so as we have already discussed that we'll be using the concept of sorting and mapping right so now let's implement it right how will it work for that i will initially create a map that will initially keep a value that the array has and the respective frequencies right so i'll make a map right and i will traverse through the array like x right in the array that is hand right and each time i find the element x i'll be incrementing it right as we do in normal maps we'll be doing this right so up to this we find the frequency of each and every element and the element that we'll be having in the map will be in the sorted form right because we are using an ordered map not an unordered map right so now what's the next case we need to think right as we have already discussed that we need to think for each element that if suppose the frequency of the element suppose i'm assuming that x is the first element right if the frequency of element this first element is 2 then what i will expect that the consecutive element that it will have suppose that is x plus 1 right this is the frequency let me write it below only right if x has a frequency of 2 what will be its consecutive elements it will be x plus 1 x plus 2 and it will go up to the group size minus 1 as we have discussed earlier right i will expect that the consecutive element will at least have a frequency of 2 that is where we can make a group right of the respective size right if it will not have a frequency that is you know like greater than or equal to this value that we are considering for like if it is less than that frequency then then we will simply return false right this is the simple idea so now let's implement it now i'll check i'll traverse through the map right i'll traverse to the map and for each of it i'll check if the value i am considering for is greater than zero or not right if it is greater than zero then what will i consider i will traverse for int i equals one to i less than the group size that's the simple idea that we have discussed earlier right and each time i'm traversing it i'll be subtracting the it dot first value plus i what this means is suppose i am at x assume that id dot first is x now i'll be considering for x plus one right and whatever will be frequency i'll be subtracting with the number of values that i consider for x right suppose the frequency of id dot first is two then i'll be subtracting two from the i it plus i that is x plus one right and after subtracting it from it if we get a value that is if the frequency of the next consecutive element is less than the frequency of the current element then we'll simply return false right this is the simple case we need to see right so i'll check here like mp of it dot first plus i right if it is less than zero right not here i it will be inside this i if it's less than zero then simply return false that's the simple case right and after this we'll simply return true and hopefully this works let's give it a shot and see whether it works or not so let me hit on run and see whether it works or not yeah it works let's submit it and see whether it gets submitted or not hopefully well this does right and you can see we got a success right hope you like my video see you in the next video till then if you're new to our channel do like subscribe and share my video till then stay tuned